Hello, hello my dear friends and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that you are coping under the energies that we are moving through which are very hmm, trying, very trying energies and uh, very interchangeable. We've got very important transits going on astrologically speaking. I'm oh okay. There's work that needs to be done for this change. We've still got work ahead of us pertaining to something that needs to leave our life, how to unload um unload yeah, something that's holding a change, uh, holding us back from a certain transformation and metamorphosis. Now there may be some noises around. I've got the fan on right next to me. It's a scorch here in Greece today. It has been for over a week. And the next two, three weeks are going to be the same. So, heat wave. Heat wave. Uh, literally and met metaphorically in Greece, so a lot of bi uh, fires burning, fires, a lot of fires burning, and a lot of uh, people trying to go close to the water, get a bit of a a breather instead of being in those big cities. I hope that you're close to the water and you're, if you're in the northern hemisphere if it's really really hot which some of you did write to me that in your country it's really hot let's read the energies today 27th 27th and i'm going to do an astro update i want to because astrologically speaking it's a very very important time i actually uh, did the i've uploaded on patreon the new moon in Leo which is in a couple of days so I do go into a lot of the astrology there you may want to think about joining us on patreon you do get a lot of information but uh, for those of you that are here on YouTube I'm going to do a quick astro update for you it's um, very very important times so we need to know energetically what's going on around us so that we could understand typically where we're at okay um 27th of july leo season happy birthday dear leo okay there's a new moon just around the corner tomorrow if you're in the northern hemisphere on the 28th 29th in the southern uh, hemisphere and I will talk about on the astro update okay let's let's see what the energies are I tried to do a reading for you yesterday the messenger is here um, wasn't able to do it so here I am today I need to get this out to you I had a bit of a nightmare yesterday morning before just before I woke up calm seas beautiful water I've got a view of the water the beach very calm very serene water and then all of a sudden like a tidal wave there was a huge octopus who was his his uh, tentacles he was wrapped around like he was all m mixed up he wasn't in good shape he was just rolling and rolling and just becoming bigger it just came out of the water coming out to shore and we were thinking I, I know there were people around me thinking of where to go to hide felt like a tidal wave like a tsunami very very scary <laughs> very scary indeed um i don't know what that could mean i mean uh for me personally not a very good uh meaning uh, both my little elves have got COVID, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I've got my work cut out for me. I hope that you guys are all doing well, and um, 
I hope that because I got the the notion of something coming from the water and we are we may be expecting some sort of an earthquake could be anywhere in the world astrologically speaking it's earthquake um, weather so earthquakes do bring on tsunamis so keep your eyes open listen to the news um, not the fake news the real news okay see what uh, could be playing out I hope that uh, the calm water says that all will be well so let's not look at everything as very just negative let's always look at the bright side um, the Sun is in Leo it is a time of heart and happiness and joy and playfulness and matters pertaining to the heart being out there the Sun is very healing so let's um, try and make the best of every situation energetically what's going on today King of Swords Aquarius Gemini Libra the full new cycle new beginnings some sort of a conversation where someone's taking a risk someone could also be taking a risk uh, to speak up to speak the truth even if it may hurt okay we've got information coming in that's going to jumpstart that word keeps coming up for me jumpstart it's that Uranus Mars on the North Node in Taurus something is going to be jumpstarted it's not in our hands it is fated the fool uh, does speak to someone being I don't know either silly or just very courageous it is the Aries energy it is Uranus it is Mars for me so what will that bring something stable something pertaining to home four of wands does speak to some form of a celebration happiness some sort of a new beginning pertaining to a home to a marriage to a family to a could also be a happy family gathering right uh, four of wands does speak to stability i suppose i'm not reading reversal so instability could be for some of you where something needs to change something is unstable and therefore we're striving for um, something that will give us more sense of security where we are residing who we're living with emotionally speaking but also where business is concerned we've got justice which I love to see always justice is that open portal remember the four of wands is like the 1111 portal and here we've got 11 as well um, justice Libra legalities fairness harmony um, karma that portal opens and there's judgment there's a critical moment of needing to make a decision there's a portal that's opening for resurrection we've got one two three look at these Wow I mean 0, 11, and 20. I mean, 11 looks like a 2 as well. Some form of an imbalance. Wanting to have fairness, justice, um, and second chances. A second chance at life. A second chance at happiness. This is like a, a, like a green light coming from spirit. This is help from spirit. We are guided towards a new beginning pertaining to something that we want to stabilize. We're going to have to speak our truth. Okay, we're going to have to do our research. King of Swords is very intelligent. He's got that uh, higher mind, very, very intelligent, and someone who's open to new ways of doing things, detaching from any conserva conservative old ways of doing things. What is the final outcome? Oh my God, everyone. <laughs> there is some positivity, obviously. This doesn't have to speak to love only. It can speak to uh, some sort of an agreement. Again, it's a two. A lot to do with twos. Twos speak to, it can speak to a severing, like separation, segregation, uh, cutting yourself away from something that was unjust unhealthy unhappy and starting something new 
uh, new possibilities or this is the possibility of um, holding on and waiting for that second chance to reconnect to come together with to team up with someone that is on the same level as you um, emotionally uh, karmically two of cups is let's drink to this let's agree to this four of pentacles two fours they do, do speak to home now four of pentacles is usually my taurian energy where someone did not want change does not like change taurus is fixed earth can be quite stubborn uh holding back not being truthful not being open but we do have the king of swords here where even though it's a double-edged sword it can cut both parties but the truth is all about release and possible new beginnings now if you've got a choice and you're choosing between two two situations two different people the portal opens what is the karma dharma today the 27th of july leo season we've got the high priestess another two <laughs> yep another two and i do see the high priestess as yes of course uh, a possible resolution or finding like soul searching connecting to spirit having that deeper knowing a uh, strong intuitive feeling notion um understanding now the high priestess uh can also speak to knowledge wisdom pertaining to a spiritual connection um trusting in your higher self and the guidance from from the divine that you've got the ability to have the key to find the key to what mystery is playing out for you what is it that is unknown for you okay so let's see what's beneath the four four of pentacles four of pentacles is the miser this could also speak to someone holding on to their emotions not even speaking about what what you know how they feel insecure what makes them feel insecure um what puts them in a position of feeling unloved or unprovided for three of wands we've got waiting 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 and um we see the transition from this weight from this build up okay three of wands does speak to having some sort of a successful um position or that there is expansion here there is the desire to be able to build obviously a choice has been made in the past even though you may not know about it could be someone that you're dealing with the other person having made a choice there's temperance again it speaks to balance temperance archangel michael temperance is all about the balance and the harmony the healing but also patience patience that spirit has got our backs let's see what's going on in the lenormand some of you could be dealing with someone that is a closed up book someone that was not communicating someone that was not uh risking uh, more heartbreak and more heartache um someone that was not verbalizing astrologically speaking um we're in a position of we're feeling the pressure mercury is pressured uh, mercury is the communicator the information will come uh, under great stress uh, it can also come as very repulsive and um, very aggressive and very much like a jerk knee jerk um, knee jerk uh, energy a lot will be revealed we've got the book here a lot will be revealed and the revelations could speak to a home as well we've got the bear and how the bear speaks to strength it speaks to someone who holds a position of power yeah. someone that's got a, a lot of responsibilities someone who is a leader this is mars and aries someone who's quite powerful but um 
it could also speak to someone that's trying to hold a position of power or um, not opening up and speaking uh, pertaining to their their uh, emotions right someone holding a position showing that showing like they are very strong but uh, remember that the bear is a number 15 which 15 does speak to the devil so uh, it could also speak to someone opening up at a point of um, you know a certain timing a particular moment where they're going to have they're going to have that in injected power um, and confidence to take that leap of faith right And we've got there is the change there is the change when someone uh feels that they will have the courage to open up someone's been going through a massive lesson they've been holding back um the book does speak to secrecy it's neptune in pisces um it can it will speak to information and knowledge that's been withheld that we're going to learn about um also, someone may have been researching how to get unstuck within a situation. It could be a partnership uh, pertaining to work. It could be a relationship. Okay, this is Jupiter and Sagittarius, so it's it, it speaks to change, farewell, saying goodbye to those limitations. This is, speaks to travel, being ready to go on that journey, on that adventure, which is here as well. What's at the bottom? We've got the Divine Feminine. So if you are a Divine Feminine, then this is you. If you are a Divine Masculine, this is the person you are thinking of. Oh my God. <laughs> the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, they are together, my dear friends. And look at the paths. Their paths are coming together. They, they, this, this is talking about a meeting. Now, some of you may be at a physical distance. Obviously, we've got travel here, possible travel. Someone ready to take that journey. Look at the paths there. They're not moving parallel anymore. They are meeting each other. What are they sitting on? There is the change and the yearning for change, a new, a new foundation, building on a new foundation. This is newness. Um, this could also speak to change and movement, right? Um, we see the stalks. The stalks uh, is Mercury and Gemini. So there is news that's going to, a lot of news and a lot of information that's going to come through. A lot of um, communication through social media, messaging. Now Mercury and Gemini, remember Mercury is in Leo now and he's not in a very good position. He's being challenged. To trust I mean Leo is generosity maybe you are dealing with someone that's got Leo in their chart and at this point they feel the pressure right they feel the pressure and they have the Sun the Sun is in position so this does give confidence all right so let's make an agree uh, agreement let's agree to disagree and move forward let's um, Remember the High Priestess, is this is Pisces Virgo, we are uh, looking towards a new moon in Virgo and a full moon in Pisces, uh, end of August and early September, um, but remember we're having a new moon in Leo in a couple of days, um, so the next consecutive new moon, end of August, will be uh, in Virgo, so I don't know if that's the timing you let's take a message uh, from the chocolate message cards and we'll also take a message from the angels gods and goddesses so we've got uh, nourishment chocolate truffles and nourishment something to nourish our ourselves our soul our hearts people tend to be naturally drawn to those who are open with their thoughts and feelings and who they can trust with their problems it's good to be approachable and open-hearted toward others but remember to reserve time for yourself it is important to nourish your own soul as well as those around you 
this is very much the Leo uh, energy for me. Leo is all about, of course, needing to nourish for themselves, but then also having the power and the strength to nourish, you know, the um, stamina, let's say, or the heart to nourish others as Leo is very generous. Now, we've all got Leo in our chart somewhere, but obviously this is more inclined to the Leo people. You may have your sun in Leo, your moon in Leo, your rising in Leo, you may have Venus in Leo or Mars in Leo or your North Node, okay? Um, it is important to, to nourish your own soul as well as those around you. Spend quality time in nature and allow yourself to feel at one with Mother Earth. Now that's Taurus. Leo squares over to Taurus. So we are, we are fear, feeling uncomfortable. We need to get unstuck. We need to get out and about. We need to know that there is love out there. There is um, there is um, innocence in people. People um, are there to help. People do um, have the ability to come together. And I do feel that that's what's going to happen with Mars uranus on the north node the north node is positive it is the collective future destiny uranus is also the people and it's detaching from anything karmic from the past any um energies that are holding us trying to hold us back um that are weighing us down and mars is the confidence the courage the action right and the new beginning right now the affirmation here is i'm open and free i am beautiful and everybody loves me what a beautiful card okay let's see what the angel gods and goddesses have got today oh wow that was quick goddess of knowledge goddess of knowledge Start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. That is totally on point. Okay, this could also speak to information that's coming through that you probably expected. Um, maybe you doubted, but that information is coming through. I want to see, I want to take a couple of cards, dear spirit. I want to see what this Two of Cups is all about. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, which can speak to a possible family um, situation. For some of you that are going through divorce, you're starting a new cycle, right? You could be leaving a, I don't know, this could be a 10-year chapter. This could be a 10-month chapter for some of you. Uh, if you're in a, another long-term relationship, this does speak to abundance, but it also speaks to a possible ending um, and a new cycle that begins. Remember, tens are actual aces, but we need to uh, put it that full stop, end that chapter. Um, something that has completed, we don't need to carry with us. On another level, this does speak to a lot of support, emotional, financial, um, abundance, feeling very safe and secure and possible uh, fortunate uh, good fortune good fortune that comes with this agreement this romantic new cycle this soulmate connection okay so uh, we've got as I said Aquarius Gemini Libra we've got um, Leo Sagittarius Aries Scorpio is very strong Libra Aries um, Pisces and uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups speaks to regrets. It does speak to focusing still on the past. But remember, fives are all about change. This is all about leaving regrets in the past, finishing up with what went sour. Okay, the Two of Cups is still standing. It's our perspective that needs to change. It's something that we need to possibly um, leave behind now we see the there's a river in front of him it's like needing to cross over to the other side to the other bank so uh, being stuck 
by emotions and emotional hardship or regrets pertaining to the past we do see a bridge here where I don't know why I need to say bridging the gap or bridging those um, those harsh energies pertaining to the past so that we could have that possible resurrection uh, restart second chances and uh, this is an open wound that we are looking at this brings up Chiron for me very much so so it's got to do with the, the past and the future it's got to do with um, those limitations and those restrictions of freedom um, some of us may be just stuck in the past holding ourselves back it's a time of Uranus Uranus is is the future okay all right is there something else that I need to um, to speak of dear spirit is there something else that I need to need to confirm let's take three Sabilas dear friends three Sabilas on the outcome today the 27th of July 27th of July 2022 20, 27 that's a 9 and a 7 16 and 22 16 uh, 18 20 20 is the judgment card yes it is Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's see what's going on. We've got Jealousia, Eight of Swords, feeling blocked, feeling uh, that there are regrets. Um, maybe there were third parties involved. Um, Eight of Swords is like being surrounded by difficult thoughts and perceptions that we cannot move forward. Okay, Jealousia speaks to third parties, other people being involved, obviously. We've got Disgrazia in the Tower, Seven of Swords. Oh my God, oh my my. Disgrazia is, is a Tower moment, it is an Aha moment, it is a major shift. Okay, we do see oh, the fire here and of course um, feeling as though uh, and fearing as though the worst is going to happen but seven of swords here eight of swords seven of swords that's 15 swords there's that 15 again the saturnian energy um and we are beginning a 15 year new cycle with uranus and the north node conjoining in the sign of taurus um a brand new cycle begins it probably I mean this could be wiping out 10 to 15 years back something that happened pertaining to stealth secrecy theft uh, feeling as though someone was someone has stolen something precious from you stolen your your happiness stolen something physical monetary from you um, Seven of Swords is also someone trying to get away with something in the in the in the in the daylight, right? In the middle of the day. But it's like having something right in front of us. It's as clear as day, as they say, and the sun is very strong, remember, and the moon, the new moon is going to be a new beginning. So remember the sun is in its home position of Leo. So there is something that is being birthed here. Um, and the Seven of Swords could also speak to the intelligence of Uranus. So anything that's been restricting and holding us back pertaining to regrets, suffering, loss, a sense of unhappiness, um, an unjust situation is shifting. And I feel that this shift has got a lot to do with a Uranus on the North Node in Taurus. So we're going to see something collectively, of course. Um, it will 
be very important for the world but that will also be important for us personally and individually so where is Taurus in your chart which area of your chart does it occupy let's see what this tower moment will bring we've got the six of pentacles which is very much like usually shows remember the scales so there's um i don't know balance and harmony equal giving and receiving karma dharma this is a payback this is receiving the abundance if you've done the work right there is um, connection here there's balance there's understanding or someone is ready to do something crazy someone is having an aha moment is putting them in a lot of thought this is very similar to the hermit card so it may speak to that new moon in Virgo pensiero right or this can speak to contracts or something to do with um, balance and harmony this is a payback this is receiving the money receiving the love receiving the receiving what you've given out this could be reciprocity also where someone was holding back before now they're um they're coming back they're giving to you what you've given to them so i do feel very strongly karma dharma trust your intuition says the goddess of knowledge which can speak to that, that libran energy right six of pentacles we've got here but it does remind me very much of the Libran uh, archetype, which is Venus, right? Venus in balance and in harmony. And also trust your intuition, very strong Piscean energies. What's that four of pentacles? Holding on and waiting for the ten of cups, the bliss, Constanza, something is unchanging. This um, could also speak to just trusting and believing that you, you can get to that uh, that um, sense of happiness, that completion, that uh, magical place, through believing. I in the card here, it does show very much an energetically very strong um, area of the world. I mean, it's got to do with the past, with I don't know past lifetimes or could also speak to a very a, a particular area in the world that someone could possibly be wanting to visit they feel like their happiness is there that's where their bliss is and this could be what they've been holding on to and hoping for there is a possibility um, that something maybe also that we've been hoping through the depths of our heart we've been hoping and wishing for could possibly come through here um, we do see the Sun uh, rise in the background which is like a brand new day and it does remind me very much so also of the Archangel Michael with the sunrise in the background there which shows the path towards that sun which does speak to healing it speaks to healing happiness uh, and bliss what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got the nine of pentacles uh, deliriousness this is a neutral card those who are in um, I don't know either they cannot hold themselves up this is support from others obviously this could also speak to someone feeling very silly um, having done something quite silly but there is support um, this could also be support from others uh, financial support is, it is the nine of pentacles remember nine of pentacles is someone that usually knows their worth and they feel that they can take care of themselves but obviously this uh, disgrazia this tower moment could we could see someone that's quite someone that did not did not want to show that they need support do take note of this please uh, dear friends now this is Virgo also nine of Pentacles is the Virgo archetype um, energy 
deliriousness or this sudden change, possible abundance and happiness and transition is going to have us in a very delirious place. We're not going to know what hit us. We've got the Two of Swords, so a decision maybe that's made. There's some sort of a visit. There could be a meeting here also. Someone's been advised to take that journey. This could be a meeting coming together. Remember the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. The path. Yeah. So this could be a sudden shock or surprise where there will be will be reciprocity. Trust in that. And with that, I will leave you as someone is knocking and I need to open the door. My darling friends, hope you're all well. Love and light to all of you. Hope you're feeling uh, good. Thank you for uh, your love always that you show on this channel. Um, some of you don't know that my little elf hasn't been helping me recently. So um, it's sort of like I'm needing to stand on my own. Everyone has got their own obligations, things that they need to do. That's the Saturnian energy that we're um, needing to uh, grow into, right? Saturn is maturity. We're all maturing. All going through a maturing process um, on different levels of course um, but it's time to prove our ability our worthiness and our um, our um, position of leadership becoming the leader remember Saturn is the elder the wiser the teacher and we're being asked to be maybe teachers towards others or we're dealing with other harsh teachers that are wanting to see you know I want to see the money I want to see the proof so that does speak to challenge for all of us um, so just uh, understand that they're the energies that are playing out my dear friends so just run with it all right so 8 15 and 6 to 21 21 is the world card right so we will be able to close up this huge challenge this huge cycle that we've been going through at some point we will come through with flying colors do not doubt yourself you are at willing you are able and you are worthy okay so willing able and worthy love you all so much stay strong stay vigilant i will be back <laughs> Ta -da.